Welcome back and thank you for joining us. I'm Jessica Barbier, your host for the Cox OC Connection. The next segment we have ahead for you is all about the Bell Tower Foundation right here in our backyard of Rancho Santa Margarita. With us today to fill us in on everything they have going on, I'm happy to welcome Vanessa, Lindy, and Sherry from the board. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having Thanks for us. Having us. So, um, Vanessa, as a president, I want to start off with you and talk a little bit about um, how the Bell Tower Foundation got started. Sure. So, the foundation started in 2001, and it was actually the founding group that built the community center. And since then, that has changed. The foundation went through a period of figuring out what they would do. And uh, about three years ago, the group decided to be more hands-on and more proactive in the community with programs. And so now we have programs, senior home repairs, which Lindy will talk about. Uh, we have breakfast with Santa coming up. We have zero trash. We have the fresh produce food pantry, just more proactive ways that our board members get involved in the community to really help the underprivileged, those in need, and foster the next generation in the community. And how have those partnerships with the programs in the community evolved? Have they come to you and said, we want support? Or how has that um, evolution of the partnerships looked? You know, it's really been an organic process. Mm -hmm. I think it really started small. So as the foundation went through a redevelopment of what it was going to do, that news started to spread. And local partners in small businesses and large businesses came to us and asked how they could help. Uh, there were other groups who came to us who had needs. So we were finding out that there were neighbors and friends in need of food. There were seniors in need of certain types of projects. and. What we were able to do is be the catalyst that brought these pieces together, even volunteers, people in the community who want to give back. I'm sure you know this is a very special community where people want to give back to those around them and to the community itself. So we've really been able to connect all of those pieces and influence positively the community. And it looks like you're pretty much helping anyone that needs services in our community. So you have the um, diversity of senior citizens, you have the military components, you have the food pantry. Um, so it looks like you guys are very well versed in everyone that you're supporting. We do try, we're a nonprofit, so we, we have to get creative. We're all volunteers as well. So it all comes from a place of goodness and from our hearts and I think it makes a difference. And one of the unique aspects of the foundation, it's not only a volunteer connection hub, but you do so much more. Can you talk a little bit about that aspect? Sure, so again, it goes back to how we connect the community. So I think it's really this triangle of there's needs, there's people, and then finding a way to bridge those. And I think the small businesses and the large businesses mm -hmm. locally help us do that. So where we wanna give back to the community, we love to advertise for the groups that help us bring the programs to the community. Um, we want to do things for children, Breakfast with Santa, we work with Boys and Girls Club, we have a teen council, mm -hmm. we have our seniors, of course, and really just try to touch every part of the community at the same time, giving opportunities for volunteers. And Lindy, you play a huge role in the senior repair program. Can you tell us about this and your partnership with Home Depot? I sure can. Um, we have been um, given a grant money from the city um, we did this also in 2012, but we're doing it again in 2014. And we um, uh, reach out to the seniors, and right now we're doing a smoke detector combination carbon monoxide promotion. And with our partners, Home Depot, they are helping us out to give us the um, uh, products for free, and they're installing them for free and giving them um, given back to the seniors in that way. And then also we're doing minor repairs to seniors in their homes. That's an incredible program. It is. And if you were a senior citizen living in Rancho Santa Margarita and you wanted to sign up and you wanted to be able to utilize this program, where mm -hmm. would you go to find out more information? You can go to the Bell Towers website Okay. and you can contact us through there. You can also call the Bell Tower Community Center and contact us through our um, extension. Uh, you can also come into the center and you can come in and see me and I have all the applications that are needed and um, I talk to them, get the details and help get them started on it. So we're, we're there for them. Great, I love it. And I think I'm in denial, so I'm told that the holidays are upon us. <laughs> Somehow they snuck up on me. I don't even know where this year went, but they are here, if we like it or not, or if we believe right. it or not. So Sherry, can you tell us a little bit about your annual uh, Breakfast with Santa event? This is going to be our very first year. Great. And we're really excited. 
we have two seatings, one at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and Santa will be there and we'll have a professional photographer taking pictures by the fireplace, crafts, a pancake breakfast, and story time with Santa and they can write letters to Santa and drop them in the mailbox to the North Pole and it's going to be a really fun event. Such and a fun family filled event is. and getting everyone together to celebrate. It's pretty much like kicking off yes. Christmas because mm -hmm. it's the first weekend in December. We have the information up on the screen right now. Um, how much are ticket prices and where can people go to get tickets? They are at the community center. Okay. And um, adults are $10, kids are $5, and that includes the pancake breakfast and everything, um, all the festivities and the crafts. That's incredible. You cannot and find breakfast for $10 nowadays, <laughs> yeah. especially with, I mean, just breakfast alone, but you get Santa and, and all the fun activities well, involved too. And we have chefs from BJ's coming over to cook breakfast. So it's, it's, we've had a lot of community involvement. We couldn't have done it without everybody that has. And where are you guys at with volunteer recruitment? Do you need more volunteers to help um, assist on that day as well? We would love volunteers. Okay, yes. great. We're, st we're still in need of volunteers to serve breakfast um, at the tables and help with the crafts. Wonderful. So, so we can have yes. our viewers go to your website either to purchase tickets and attend or to volunteer and assist at the event. Definitely, yes. Wonderful. Well, happy holidays, <laughs> as hard as it is to say. Thank you so much for being here today, and thanks for all Thank of you. what you're doing for our community members in Rancho Santa Margarita. Thank you. And for our viewers at home, thank you for joining us today. To find out more information on our local COX-3 programming, you can visit our website, cox3.com. And to find out about some of our programs and grants and community support, you can visit our website, cox-cares.org. Thanks again for joining us, and have a wonderful day.